Hi guys, in this video, we are going to discuss about the advantages of stationary armature in our synchronous machine. First of all, generally in DC machine, rotating armature is preferable for good commutation. But in synchronous machine, no need of commutation. When there is a no need of commutation, then we can use as per our requirements. In that, for high rating applications, stationary armature is preferable. For low rating applications, rotating armature is preferable. I told you already. These concepts I told you in the first video. Now coming to here. What are the advantages of stationary armature for high rating applications? In that first one, for easy collection of current because generally the EMF induced in the armature winding, we need to collect that current. If it is a stationary, we can collect the current easily. First point. Second one, easy insulation. Generally, armature winding nothing but heavy voltage winding. We need to insulate. For that, easy insulation will be possible. And next one, if it is a stationary armature, if there is no any rotating, then we can make a more windings in that slots easily for better mechanical balance. Mechanical balance. We can easily mechanical balance because it is a stationary. If it is a rotating, we need to concentrate for mechanical balancing. If the, if the number of conductors more, it may lead to debalance. And next one, next one, if it is a stationary, there is a less leakage flux. There is no leakage flux or less leakage flux. If there is a less leakage flux, nothing but less leakage reactance. When there is a less leakage reactance, then less voltage regulation or better voltage regulation will be possible. These are the few important points. Of course, the core star, the slot or tooth strength, tooth strength is good. Slot or tooth strength is good when it is a stationary. Other than that, for example, I am taking stationary armature and rotating armature. If it is a if it is a armature is a stationary, then we need to give three phase AC supply directly to the armature. For example, if it is a rotating, we need to give the three phase AC supply. For example, this is a motor, synchronous motor. Of course, if it is a generator, if it is a generator, we need to collect. We can easily collect from the stator. But if it is a rotor, how we can collect the current? We need to take, we need to take like a brushes and slip rings. Brushes and slip rings. How many brushes we required here? Three brushes we required and three slip rings we required to collect the current or to give the supply. If it is a generator, to collect the current. If it is a motor, to give the supply. But here, no need of brushes. No need of slip rings. Directly we can connect it to that. So, next one. Next one. If this is an armature, this will be the field winding. If this is an armature, this will be the field winding, right? Stationary armature, rotating field winding. Rotating armature, stationary field winding. The, the field winding should be connected by DC supply or DC excitation. And uh, here also. Here, we need to give the DC supply or DC excitation. Yes or no? So, so like uh, here, we need to give the DC excitation to the rotor. But how we can? By the brushes and slip rings. Brushes and slip rings. How many brushes we required here? Only two brushes. How many slip rings we required here? Only two slip rings enough. But here, we required three slip rings and three brushes. Let's compare these two. Stationary armature and rotating armature. Which is better? Here, here, less brushes. 
less slipperings less cost less cost less weight less weight less size less size less maintenance less maintenance less losses because losses will be takes place in the brushes also less losses of course more efficiency more efficiency better stability better mechanical balance easy collection of current easy insulation of course we discussed this other than this other than this less number of brushes less slip rings less cost less weight less size less maintenance less losses more efficiency these are the these are the advantages of stationary armature coming to here three brushes three slip rings more number of brushes more number of slip rings more maintenance more cost more weight more size more losses less efficiency this is the this is the difference between stationary armature and rotating armature okay like that they may ask you any questions from this of course sometimes they will ask you questions like this of course you will give the answer easily three phase slip ring induction motor three phase squirrel gauge induction motor three phase stationary armature synchronous machine three phase rotating armature synchronous machine rotating armature synchronous machine <coughs> <coughs> this is first one second one third one fourth one option a option b option c option d option d let's see here for example for example 0 2 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 0 1 2 3 let's match the number of slip springs required for this machines let's match it come on guys three phase slip spring induction motor the three phase slip spring induction motor required three slip springs three phase squirrel gauge induction motor three phase squirrel gauge induction motor doesn't have any slip springs only two end rings will be there three phase stationary armature stationary armature required two slip springs three phase rotating armature rotating armature how many slip springs we required three slip springs three slip springs right so like that there is no use of one guys okay so like that they may ask you any questions in our competitive examinations right let's go for the construction of synchronous machine